What's up, man? It's your boy here, man. The one and only Lord Brunson back at you with the back at you. I want to thank each and every one of you guys, anybody who ever watched one of my videos, man, because we've reached an, we, we reached we reached a almost up unobtainable milestone on YouTube, man. A million total views, man. And a shout out to you guys. We did that. How, how long did it take us to do that? We did that in two and a half years, man. A million total, a million total views on YouTube. Listen, man, the marathon don't stop right here, though. The marathon continues because I got an announcement for you guys. Well, I've now partnered up with Cairo Athletics and Cairo Athletics is leading the way for any merchandise that you got. If you got a little league baseball team, bro, if you got a little league baseball team and you need shirts and you need hats, you need headbands, you need whatever, Cairo Athletics will be able to suit your needs. All you got to do is go to Cairo Athletics. I'm going to leave a description for their YouTube and their website and my email right here use code at lord brunson and get your discount and get and get your and get your needs met but that's not even where it stopped here though y'all see my brand new logo uh-huh uh-huh you see the logo cairo athletics and i have joined in a partnership to where my merchandise will be on the website as well still use the code lord brunson so basically if you know lord brunson since we are family we are friends you use my code and you go get you something from cairo athletics for the low with the discount you know what i'm saying listen man we, we reached a million total views on youtube that don't mean we gonna stop i want to give a shout out to everybody if you ever walked up to me in the club the dude at the redskins game the dude at the other club in dc if you ever seen me and said what's up to lord brunson man i appreciate you man if you ever took a click whether you like the content or not to watch my video i appreciate you man if you ever subscribe to me i appreciate you man much love and respect man y'all gonna see a lot of me during the off season at some of these stadiums home and away games walk up to me and say what's up man that's all you got to do, man. Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you, and I am the best reporting on the Eagles. Man, look, I got a theory on why we about to be ridiculous on the offensive side of the ball. I got a theory, and it's a formation that I believe is going to give people fits. Going to give people fits. People people don't want to give us our credit. Everybody, listen, a blind man can see we got the best quarterback in the division. I believe we got the best wide receiving core in the division. And I also believe we got the best running back group in the division. Now, I never said we got the best running back in the division. But, but you know, one man can't do it all. One man can't do it all. We got the best running back group. We have a plan already, and Doug is talking about this plan, and we plan on implementing a running back by committee. But we also got tight end by committee. We also got wide receiver by committee. That's how deep we are. And I'm gonna tell you guys about the twin tight end formation that I think is gonna take us over the top. On any position in the field, I believe that this formation is gonna be able to get it done for us. Let me get the mark out real quick. Uh-huh. All right, so look. Bang, 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 bang. Bang, bang, D-block game. So look, right here, obviously, obviously, I'm gonna put him in green. Right here, you got your goat. You got your goat. And in the ideal situation, you're gonna have, uh, you're gonna have an Alshon on this side, and you're gonna have a Deshaun on this side. But these are your two tight ends right here. These are your two tight ends. Now, what did this package do? What did this package do? This package gives you versatility. Now, the only person that I see in this formation who is not a threat to block would probably be Deshaun Jackson. So if I see this formation and I see Deshaun Jackson out here wide, then then this is definitely a passing play if I'm a defensive coordinator. But you never know with the Philadelphia Eagles, and especially with the big running back that we just got in Jordan Howard, who will be right here in this formation. If you see this, you can expect some type of a quick slant that way, a quick slant that way with Alshon. Who knows what these tight ends are going to do up the same? Who knows what they're going to do up the same? This is what you call all-out war. But you can erase this, though. You can erase this. And you can also run with a you can also go with a run and play, and then you can have your two tight ends act as blockers. Your two your two tight ends can be two additional blockers in this formation as well. This formation will give defenses fits. Fits. So if you want to run a cover up here, you want to run a cover two up here, you have to bring a safety over for Deshaun Jackson. You have to. So you can bring that safety over for Deshaun Jackson and say Zach Ertz is right here. Free game for Zach Ertz. You see what I'm saying? You want to bring that other safety over for Alshon, free game for Dallas Goddard. You see what I'm saying? You want to play man? How dare you play man? Or we could, or we could play action you to death out of this. But that's not even where it gets even. That's not even where it gets the most dangerous, in my opinion, with a formation like this. It doesn't get the most dangerous with a formation like this, because now instead of having Deshaun Jackson out here paired with Alshon Jeffrey and your two tight ends, you could go Arcega Whiteside. 
Now you go on Arcega White side and you go into the red zone with this formation. You got two big body receivers in Alshon and Arcega White side, and you got two already big tight ends. Or you can run the draw play, Jordan Howard. You, you know what I'm saying? It's just it's just too deadly. I don't see I don't see anybody that's going to be able to contest with the weapons that Wentz got. And and I'm not an offensive coordinator. If I'm pointing out ways. If I'm pointing out ways how this offense can be deadly and run over everybody, especially in our division, come on. Come on. RPO. Let's talk about RPO right here. This formation is deadly for an RPO package. We could talk about RPO right here. It's just deadly for RPO package. Because you already got your two tight ends adding additional blocking for your guards, for your left, for your guards and your tackles and your center. You already got your two tight ends adding additional blocking. It's ridiculous. Okay, so you want to take away a tight end, add a third wide receiver for your slot? Throw Nelson Aguilar right there. Mac Hollins is getting healthy and running around. Throw Mac in there. Or you could keep Deshaun, you could keep Alshon and throw J.J. Arcega White side in there. He's been getting some slot reps. Listen, man. Listen, the sky is the limit, man, for this offense. And I'm not saying that just to say it. I'm, this, is, this, is, this is not a feeling that I got. I'm not throwing around, but I'm not throwing bums names out here. You see what I'm saying? The only person that I got a question mark against in the wide receiver group is J.J. Arcega Whiteside, and he's a rookie. That's the only reason why I got the question. You compare any of these wide receiver groups with any other wide receiver group in the division, and it's easily the Philadelphia Eagles. Easily the Philadelphia Eagles. Alshon Jeffrey's a bona fide number one. That never been questioned in his career. Deshaun Jackson is a bona fide deep threat. Never been questioned in his career. You see what I'm saying? Nelson Aguilar has emerged. He's coming to his own. Didn't even reach his prime yet. Tight end is one, Zach Ertz is one of the best tight ends in the game. Dallas Goddard is going to be one of the best tight ends in the game. You already know how I feel about those guys. They got the chance to be the new Gronk and Aaron Hernandez. So I just don't see how logically, how logically that's going to be easy to cover. I don't see how the, tw the twin tight end package should be gold for us. We should try to come out with this big set. Remember when New England did it with Aaron Hernandez and Gronk? We need to be running the hell out of the twin, swipe, the twin tight end package. Excuse me, I'm getting tongue-tied. We need to be running that like there's no tomorrow because we got the weapons to do it. In order to run a successful twin tight end package, you need to have two competent tight ends, and we got that. A lot of people want to put a lot of knack. They want to knock Zach Ertz's blocking ability. No, he's just an underrated blocker. Zach Ertz is a complete tight end. A complete tight end. He's a tight end that can get you a catch whenever you throw him the ball. Dallas Goddard out there catching one-hand passes, man, like he Randy Moss or somebody, man. Twin tight end package, that's the importance of it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments.